hello there welcome to this uh, series of spring mbc tutorials uh, in this tutorials actually i am covering all the features of the spring mbc and integration with the all other component of spring mbc so in my last couple of video i have a brief introduction about spring mbc and i have uh, created a setup using eclipse and uh, spring tool suite i i'm also using so if you have not seen my last couple of video you can subscribe my channel click on the subscribe button so you will get a notification when i upload a new videos so let's get started in this video actually i am creating a simple e-commerce application using spring tool suite so let's create an application click on new give a name for project e-commerce okay and select spring mbc project so give a package name okay click finish so it created a sample application so we don't need to configure anything so I have already discussed the flow of this application in my last video that how this application is created by Spring Tool Suite and what is, uh, what, what is the flow of this application. So in this video I am actually only covering the model attribute uh, that is a very cool feature of the Spring MBC where we bind the form parameter to our controller directly so we don't need to use any request mapping or something so we can directly map a domain class to the UI so let's create a controller first click on new create a class so it's a e-commerce e application so create a customer customer controller okay so to to make it controller give controller annotation okay so create a request mapping and give the value that will be the path of this controller and this should this great great register as a path and we have to provide the method so we are first creating get method so this should be request method dot get okay okay so let's create a function here public string get customer so let's keep the model okay request method and this should be request mapping okay so this is about model object so this model object is the object which we can use to set the information to the UI so return string as a register okay so this string that we are returning here the name should be same at the JSP page that we are going to create so let's create a JSP page so we need to create a JSP page here in this folder so create a JSP page JSP yep JSP file so this should be register so this view is actually as I explained in my last video is mapped from this file so if you open this file so we we have the 
not this file so we have the file here here we have the path so if you see we are giving this path for the view so our all JSV files should be in this path okay so let's provide a welcome name welcome customer okay so so to map the any model attribute to the UI so we first need to create a POJO class so let's create a POJO class first create a class as a customer okay okay so let's provide some field for this class let's provide a field as name and let's provide the field password and create the getter and setter for this file okay so our model is ready so to send it to the UI we can use this model object model dot add attribute so keep the name as customer and send it out by creating a new object okay okay so we have created this this uh, one of the get mapping for our register file so whenever we hit this URL from the UI register uh, this will call this register.jsp file and then it will open this file and then it will send this object to the UI this object it will send to the UI so to map it with the form parameter so create a form here to map it let's create a form give action equal to register and the method should be post okay and create two fields for customer one for name input type equal to text and give name equal to name Okay, input and this should be passport. Passport and create a submit button. Input equal to input type equal to submit. Okay, submit so we need to use model attribute tag which should be our customer object so so as you see here to map our POJO class that is the customer class which we have created here so see we have two field here name and password so to map it with the UI we need to give this name same as the name of the field so whatever we are the name we are giving for these fields the name that we are field we are creating in the forms this name should be same so this name name should be same for the password the name should be same with this password field that we have created in the 
our customer files and also we need to give the model attribute tag we need to provide this model attribute tag on the form to bind it okay so create a post mapping because this get mapping is only to only the default mapping to load the JSP file so to for the form action the form we need to create the post mapping so this should be post okay and so to get this attribute model attribute here in the controller that we have mapped from here uh, we need to use model attribute annotation so this should be model attribute and the name of the attribute that we have given in our form is customer and this is a customer class and okay let's import this okay close it out So we have imported the model attribute. We know we don't need to send this again. So here, let's test the fields. We have customer name, so we can get it from customer dot get name. And second field is password. This is get password. Okay, so we can print it. Name and password. Okay, so we have created two uh, mapping here. So let's test it out, then I will discuss about the uh, flow again. So let's, let's run it on the server. Click on finish. Okay, the server is getting started. Okay, the web application context is initialized. Okay, so it is deployed and it is working on server. So let's test the controller that we have created. So we have created the controller as a register. Okay, click on register. okay our fields are not okay the name is okay so the name was wrong okay so let's get give a name for the customer and give a password as I think one two three four click on submit yep so we are getting the form values to the controller okay so it is working so now uh, let's check how it how, how what's the flow so we have two mapping one is get and other one is post so in this get mapping we are actually sending the model attribute uh, which is a customer to the UI so using model we are adding it and sending it to the UI so when we hit the register so when we hit a register from here so 
write the register here okay so once we hit the register it load the JSP page so it load this register dot JSP page because this name is same as the JSP page that we have provided here so it add this attribute to the JSP page so if you see in our register dot JSP page we have this model attribute tag so this model attribute name that we have provided here must be same the name that we are sending from here so we have same name after that we have a ready object into the UI so it bind these two uh, field these two field name and password to this object because the name this name this name should be same as the name that we have provided in our customer file so this name and password name must be same with the name that we are providing here so then it will map these two field to our customer model attribute and then once we hit the submit button this will call this post mapping this mapping this will call this post mapping so here using model attribute we are getting the customer object from the UI and then we are getting this information the controller and then uh, it is coming here so so this is a very uh, cool feature of the spring MBC so here this object is very small object we have only two field so if not so you can think like if we have a very complex object with n number of the field then we have a direct mapping to our controller we will get all the information to the controller so we need to use any of the configuration like in servlet we were using request object for this to get the information from the UI but here we have we directly map this information so using model attribute uh, we can map n number of the domain to our forms in Spring MBC application so that's uh, that's all for this video uh, and in my next video I will be populating the list of the customer to the UI using JSTL and Spring MBC um, support for the list so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye